So good morning to everybody. This is Dr. Payman Swami, Professor, Department of VCE. Today, I am going to present on faculty training program named as, called as IRE Facts 2K21. At the beginning, I would like to tell the what is the IRE Facts 2K21. So here it is abbreviated as Facts 2K21, whereas Facts FAC stands for faculty, T stands for training, S stands for program. Combination of the all the five letters named as or acronym as FACTS 2K21. So overall, this is IRA FACTS 2K21. Then coming to the what is the or why IRA FACTS 2K21. So what is the main purpose? What is the need of the this faculty training program? So first one is the to strengthen the professional development of the faculty members as well as the administrators. To increase the professionally or strengthen the professionally, we are going to have the, the main purpose of the this faculty training program. Second one is the to help the educators to increase the, the effectiveness of the their teaching, especially in undergraduate programs, so that they are better able to guide the students on journeys of inquiry and discovery. The third one is the to make the these faculty members or academic educators as a responsible person for shaping the career of the students. These are the main purpose or main advantage of the this faculty training program. Next coming to the so what are the main objectives of the IRA facts 2K21? This is a real fact to enhance the, the knowledge and skill of the teacher in state of the art technologies in engineering domain by the IRA fact 2K21. Second main objective is to equip the teachers with modern methods of teaching learning process based on the classical theories of engineering education by the IRA facts 2K21. It is also a real fact to inculcate the professional ethics, values and competencies in teachers by the IRA facts 2K21. The final one is to provide the guidance to adopt the changes in curriculum via industrial needs. These are the main objectives of our, our IRA faculty training program named as IRA facts 2K21. So then coming to the, the IRA facts 2K21 identified the, the advanced and pedagogy areas training modules of 10. So among the 10 modules, the first one is the outcome based education system that is OBG, very, very important for the engineering accreditation process. Second one is the use of the ICT in education system, how we are going to make the effective teaching in engineering education. And third one is the skill development in engineering education. Our fourth one is the tips for the effective teaching. And the fifth one is the intellectual properties rights, that is IPRs. R&D activities in engineering, how we are going to have the uh, research and development activities in engineering education. Next one is the innovation, incubation and entrepreneurship developments. So here we are going to have the, the innovative idea can be transformed or converted into the product by the help of the incubation centers and the facilities provided by the entrepreneurship development cell. And the next one is the structural design and delivery systems. So how we are going to instructional design and how the effective will be delivery system to the student in engineering system. Next one is the NBA accreditation procedure. How we are going to process the NBA accreditation in engineering colleges. And the last one is the personality development through Neuro NL, NLP programming. So these are the 10 modules which we are going to conduct in a faculty training program called IRE Facts 2K21. So then coming to the what is the structure of the, our program, training program. So here there are 10 factors we are going to consider. The first one is the total number of faculty available in the program is 30. The total duration of the program is one month. Conduction of the period is 20 and model that is first model we are going to construct the first program training program 
that is outcome based education system and target audience is all the department faculties the timings every day 6 pm to 7:30 pm and date of commencement 27th january 2021 and date of ending is 28th february 2021 so resource person may be internal and mode of training or teaching or delivery system will be online as well as the offline this is about the structure of our faculty training program that is ire facts 21 coming to the content of the based outcome based education system obe the first one is the basic philosophy outcome based education system so what are the basic fundamentals we can learn here differences from the traditional education methods what are the basic comparison between the ob and the old traditional methods next one is ob principles components of ob ob process bloom's taxonomy vision mission pos and pos of the institution course outcomes program outcomes of the department or program so introduction to the curriculum development in engineering education curriculum development process in engineering education teaching learning process outcome based evaluation method that is direct method outcome based evaluation method by the indirect methods nba validation criteria and finally we are going to conduct the, the feedback and as well as the examination about the training program then coming to the the first model that is the outcome based education system fundamental definition aspect so there are two definitions are there one is outcome based education is a student centric teaching learning methodology in which the course delivery assessment are planned to achieve the stated objectives and outcomes so it is a focused on the measuring the student performance that is at a different outcome levels so overall you can say that in a single statement it is a student centered instruction model it is a student centered instruction model coming to the second definition outcome based education is a process that involves the restructuring of curriculum assessment and reporting practices in education to reflect the achievement of the high order learning and mastery rather than the accumulation of the course credits this is given by the tacker in the year 2004 so overall you can say that outcome based education system in another way it is outcome best education by the different achievements so that is the in a nowadays outcome based education system is a best system to achieve the our targets so this is about the advantage of the outcome based education system so what are the basic benefits or advantages so by the outcome based education system among the these advantages first one is the makes the program student centric so here we are going to consider the student as a center to conduct or to achieve the all the objectives and outcomes second one is the revision of the curriculum so there is a systematic revision and updation of the curriculum by the outcome based education system better tracking of the learning in the students we can track the how the students can be learn every day by the outcome based education system so there is a better assessment at the end of the course we can assess the the program achievements engage the students in a better way meeting the accreditation requirements so we can require you can meet the what are the requirement of the accreditation process by the outcome based education system so these are the main benefits or advantage of the outcome based education system compared to the traditional education system thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates